Hello and welcome everyone to the latest installment of the Sumo News. I hope you're starting to relax a little bit, as I'm sure you were all as hyped as we were after such an exciting basho where young Sekewake Wakatakakage took his first Yusho from the grips of Papa Yasu. To find out more about his journey to the Yusho, check out our Wakatakakage Road to Glory video. The link is in the description. And with that, let's get to some Jiro promotions. Back up from Akushita after one Basho's Chio Arashi, a Kokonoe Bea, and first time Jiro man after an 11 year sumo career is Tochimaru of Kasugano Bea. And over to some retirements. After every Basho, there's a list of new retirements, and Haru Basho was no exception. Former Jiro Mongolian, Sakigake of Hanare Goma Bea, has decided to hang up his Mawashi. We've added the names of the lower division Rikishi who have retired to the description box for you all. After the bi-yearly elections were held a while back for the NSK, we have a list of new jobs. Hakaku remains the top brass for the sumo world for his fourth term. His number two guy will be Michinoku Oyakata, a senior executive manager. Sakaigawa Oyakata will be in charge of Kyushibasho. Kasukana will be in charge of Jungyo. And for those of you who don't know what that is, those are local exhibition tournaments, which have not been held for a while due to COVID restrictions. Dewana Umi Oyakata will be in charge of Nagoya Basho. Shibatayama continues to be head of PR. Hanokago Oyakata will be in charge of crisis management, the compliance committee, and the training institute. Isino Umi Oyakata has been put in charge of the Osaka Basho. There are some changes in the Shimpan, our ringside judges. Isekahama Oyakata and Sarukake Oyakata will now be joint heads. The deputy head Shimpan is Kumegawa Oyakata. But I think the most exciting news is who's joining the Shimpan. Naruto Oyakata, Nishonoseki Oyakata, Ikazuchi Oyakata, and Sendagawa Oyakata. That means we're going to see former Yokozuna Kiseno Sato as a judge very soon. There are also seven Oyakata who are leaving the Shimpan department, and we'll put that list in the description box below. Now that we know who will be running the events, let's move over to the news about the events themselves. For the first time since the start of the coronavirus, there will no longer be an attendance cap at the Nagoya Basho. That means that Aichi Prefectural Gymnasium will be able to fill every seat. At long last for some fans, Jingyo is finally returning, after being suspended since the spring of 2020. In August, after Nagoya Basho, there will be a small Jingyo in the Kanto region. The venues and schedule are currently being adjusted, and when there's more information, we'll be sure to let you know. 2022 is already shaping up to be a great year for Sumo, and we'll be sure to keep you up to date with all the latest from World of Sumo. Why not like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.